Hey, what's up, guys? Chiva and Alan here. No Tony today. He uh, mandilon. You know. You know what mandilon means? He's, um, he's in the playing in the band. Sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> But we got the starting lineup here for San Diego Loyal against RGB. It's yep. going to be a great game. A little different with the lineup. Yep. Some people are out. We got Koke on goal, Elijah Martin, Kyle Adams, Camden Ri uh, Ridley, Riley, uh, Riley right? Yep. Uh, playing yeah. center back? Yeah, he, he was uh, He was the guy who came in. Uh, we've seen him play center back a few times. Um, I think most notably when the Kyle Adams red card came out. Uh, he was also subbed in at the end of the game, last game, I believe, as center back. Yeah. He's one of those guys who can play kind of any position, but we've seen him play mostly center back. He's the ginger. Yeah. And wearing the captain armband, coming back in the starting lineup, uh, Jack Metcalf. Yeah, he'll be, uh, be playing on the, uh, probably on the right-hand side. Um, on, the, on the app, it says somewhere in the center mid position, <laughs> which... I, I don't know how that would work out. I mean, we've seen Landon and Nate have some tricks up their sleeves. It'll be interesting to see if he does end up playing in that center mid position. But we have Nick Moon is probably going to be playing on that left wing position. Yep. Or right wing, do you think left or right? Probably. How are you? How's it going? We got, we got Darren Smith right here, guys. Say hey, Darren, oh, come, on sorry, you guys come on in. Come, come on, on in. in. Come on in, man. Uh, we're just going over the lineup. Uh, talking about two best players, not in it. Yeah, Jack Metcalf. Listed as maybe a center mid on the app, but most likely going to play right back. Any, any thoughts on that? Uh, one more time. What is that? I Jack just Metcalf. Have him the center they have him at the center mid position on the app. <laughs> well, that's a new one. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah. On paper, it looks like it's going to be a 4-4-2. Right. But again, you don't have Alejandro Guido nope. uh, out due to illness. See what that means. You have Jack Blake starting, who has been playing phenomenal. Colin Martin starting. Yeah, Conway and Amon. Yeah. Kyle, uh, Kyle was so out, probably the shoulder injury. What do you guys think match prediction for this game? Well, I'm just relieved that Vassell wasn't wearing a sling yeah. in the pictures during the week when they did the YMCA event. So, uh, not that that's what you asked, but I will still say uh, they've just struggled against RGV, but we've never seen him here. So I'll go 3-1, uh, loyal. Right, that's what I was going with as well. I'm thinking on the show 3 1 loyal. I'm going to go 2 1 just to be different. 2 1. <laughs> RGV's been struggling to score this year, so or the, so far in the recent form. So we'll see what happens. Wild things happen here at Torero. Yeah, we all know San Diego loyal at Torero play amazing. It's going to be a fun game to watch. It's not hot today. It's pretty it's a nice day to watch some soccer, guys. Long sleeve weather. Yeah. All right. Anyways. Guys, we're at halftime here at Toro Stadium. San Diego is up one nothing against RGB. Should be up two nothing. They got one called off. Do you think he was offside, Talon? Um, I think it was close, but I think he was still on. Uh, he had the 18-yard box line to draw his conclusion from, and you know, you win some, you lose some, and I'm glad they rallied and ended up scoring. I think I told you, you know, this game 
it's a little boring. I think the first 20 minutes and it started picking up a little bit. And I told you, you know, I think it's gonna be nil nil a half. I hope I'm wrong. I'm glad I was wrong. A good play from Tumi Moshiwani gets a shot that really didn't have much and it still ended up in the back of the net. But other than that, San Diego Loyal are doing are not doing bad. I feel like they could have more possession in the game. What do you think there? Yeah, the, they're conceding possession a lot to RGB, not pressing nearly as much as they usually do, uh, which maybe, as you pointed out, lack of keto on the pitch to lead that um, that pressure. Um, they're kind of bending, not breaking right now. Uh, RGB's had a couple of decent looks, and Koki has been coming up big, being one hit the woodwork even. Uh, so, Loyal's looking right right now, and you got to get two before they get their one. I mean, to be playing without one of your best players, Alejandro Guido, without your normal center mid, Charlie Adams, who's on the bench, and without your main striker, Kyle Vassell, they're not doing too bad. Yeah. Right now we're at halftime, we're seeing the San Diego Soccer here presenting their championship, the Ron Newman Championship trophy. Uh, it's about time San Diego Loyal brings the San Diego Soccer. San Diego Wave did it first. Loyal, you guys liked a little bit there. Thank you guys for doing that. San Diego, shout out to the San Diego Soccer. Do you think the game's going to end like this or do you think they're going to end up scoring more? No, I think there's another goal in this one. I think San Diego's been unlucky at times with the offside, but they've been really close to getting guys in. They just need to hold up a run a little bit or get a, uh, the other AR uh, on this side and you know they might come up with a second goal because they've put two in. Uh, they probably could have put three or four in. Um, they just gotta be careful with some yellow cards to call them close yeah. tonight. So I wouldn't be surprised if Charlie Adams gets some minutes in and for Jack Blake, Jack Blake on a yellow card, Metcalf on a yellow card, Nate Miller's on a yellow card. Plenty of yellow cards to go around today. Yep. San Diego Loyal right now, 49 minute controversial play from RGB that could have been outside. Been. Uh, they ended up tying the game and then a beautiful play by San Diego Loyal off a uh, set piece. Cross went to me. Uh, Evan Conway ends up scoring it. Alan, what was your take on that play? Uh, it was it's quite a nice cross in. He just kind of steps up, whips it in, puts it right in height to be on Evan Conway's foot. And then Conway put a really nice curling shot on it that the goalkeeper really had no chance. He's coming to his left. Ball goes around him, uh, tucks it just inside. This is what you want to see from your team when you give up a questionable goal is to fight back. That's a play that clearly from the whiteboard on the pitch. They wrote that play out and that's going to be the question you landed. How, does feel the, how good does it feel for a play that you practice to actually be executed properly on the game and get the goal out of it? Yeah, wide open. Beautiful, beautiful goal by San Diego. They're up 2-1. to one. You said 2-1 to one in your prediction, so you kind of want it to stay like that. I said 3-1. I want another one. Darren Smith said 3-1. We'll see what happens. So far, the second half has been way better than the first half. That was a great game. Great game. That's, uh, honestly, probably one of the hardest games we played this year. RGB are really this conference is insane. So, team like that near the, in the bottom half of the standings doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. A lot of commitment to them and making the game really hard. Uh, I thought overall we had. I think three changes that we were forced to make tonight. Bass uh, out, Stoney out, and Guido out. But really proud of 
the guys who own it. Play. I mean, really, really big names. I thought Camden Riley was fantastic. Jack Metcalf was excellent, not just in his performance, but in his leadership. Uh, and Evan Conlon made the play to win. You know, win was just active. Uh, so really proud of our team when you have depth, uh, real depth. You win games like this during the year. We need to work hard to win. So, just really proud of the guys to pick up three points on a really hard game. Talk about how big that second goal was coming off of a, you give up a goal and then the team responds uh, almost right away on a really nice set piece. Yeah, I mean, we spent a lot of time on set pieces during the week because it's a big part of the game and we were frustrated to give up a set piece. It's been quite a while, I think, since we've given up a goal off a corner. Um, but then to respond that way, we worked. Uh, during the week, that, that exact movement, um, starting a little bit off their line because they were, they were pretty flat in their drop line, and the guys executed it. So we can show them and, and let them know where we think they can be successful, but ultimately they have to make the play. It's a fantastic ball from Toomey, and then the finish was really good uh, by Evan, so really happy for both of them. Uh, Landon, how happy are you to have a team that's so adaptable to any really formation that you want to put out there? Going from like a three back line to now a traditional four back line, how, how happy are you with the adaptability of your team? Well, shared experiences allow you to change things either you know, during one week in a game that things might be different or sometimes personnel wise you have to make adjustments. Um, but we've, our, our guys are growing together as a group, so more than just adapting in a formation, uh, it's more that we're able to win games that look different than we're used to. So, you know, getting, I think, a goal incorrectly disallowed in the first half, but then keeping going and scoring, and then getting equalized, but coming back and scoring again. And then for the last 10 minutes, just grinding out a win. That's probably what a playoff game looks like. So, all these shared experiences we're having will help us as the season goes on. Six goals, six assists on the season. What's going well for you right now? Uh, I'd say what's going well for me is, I guess as a whole, as a team, uh, we're playing very well. Uh, we, everyone is in the correct spots, and I try also to be in the correct spots uh, to be able to create chances or score goals, and it's just been flowing for me, and I'm, I'm very pleased with my performance and the whole team's in overall. To me, it looked like the team uh, expected Jack Blake to maybe uh, get a kick on that free kick and you took the cross. Uh, was that something you guys practiced during the week? Yeah, uh, we were kind of debating in during the free kick because uh, Jack wanted to take it and I kind of saw the keeper was out, so I knew that an out swinger would kind of draw him out of his goal, out of his out of his goal. And yeah, I I told him I'm taking it and it worked in the end. You got, you got Orange County coming up. I know it's one you're probably excited to play for. What are you hoping to get out of the games coming up Saturday? Just keeping this momentum going. Uh, hopefully we'll come back with a W for the supporters and for the club. And just, you know, take it a game at a time and just keep pushing. All right, guys, that's a wrap for Sandy Olo. They ended up winning this game 2-1. to one. Uh, Got a little close towards the end, Alan. What, what were your thoughts on the game overall? I mean, it's one of those games where you, you get a little bit nervous at the end. RGV's really going for it, and San Diego's just trying to defend with their life. And, you know, last season this might have turned out a little bit differently, but I think with this season, you, you see that the team is really trying to fight to close out games and have, have been decently successful as of late um, against a, a decently tough RGV side. And it just shows you kind of the depth of the league. RGV's 10th, and they come in here and give you a game. So, every week's tough. Yeah, obviously great goals by Sandy Olo, Ref referee calls not going their way, something Sandy Olo is very used to at this point of the season. Nonetheless, they ended up taking the three points. Uh, I believe they have, what, five home games left in the season? Yep. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they finish out in those away games. Orange County up next. I'm not going to be there. You're going to be there. Yep. Uh, it's my sister's birthday. Shout out to her. But it's going to be a fun one. Should be. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Appreciate every single one of you.